This is Dave Lombardo, and you're watching Chaos TV. Okay, so hello everyone. Chaos TV is today here at Tuska Open Air in Helsinki, Finland, and we have here Dave Lombardo as guest. So first of all, hello and welcome to Finland, man, thank once you. again. Yeah, thank you. It's great to be here. It's always great to visit Finland. So you have now been on the road with Suicidal Tendencies playing all these big European summer festivals. Yeah. So how has it been? Awesome. It's great to be on the, on these festivals. Uh, you know, we're we're very uh, grateful. We've been asked to uh, to do these shows. You know, obviously we have a really good album, you know, out called uh, World Gone Mad, and you know we're here to support it. And so it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. So which have actually been like your personal highlights for the summer so far? You have played in all the biggest festivals, but do, is there yeah. something that stands out from the rest? Um, well, we've done several of our own club shows, Okay. you know, small venues. And those are always fun, you know, of course, because you get this one-on-one with the public, you know, uh, and, and they enjoy, you know, seeing the band in a small venue. But uh, I think the highlight festival, I mean... They've all been good, don't get me wrong, you know, and there's still several other festivals to go. Yeah. But right now, I think uh, the Paris Download Festival was one okay. of the more insane, and Hellfest was unbelievable as well. So I, I anticipate, uh, you know, these next uh, shows to be, if not the same, you know, uh, if not, you know, more intense. Yeah, yeah. Than those. So, as you said, you have a new album with Suicidal Tendencies, World Gone Mad, yes. out, and you have now been supporting that album, playing those new songs live as well. So, yes. generally, have you been pleased with the feedback you have received yeah. since, since this, it's your first album with yeah, these guys? Yeah. I mean, everybody has been very uh, supportive of my contribution to Suicidal yeah. and my participation in the band. And... Um, I'm very grateful, you know, being in this position where I'm performing with with such a legend like, uh, you know, Mike Muir. Yeah. And you know, I've known Mike for many years. You know, Slayer and and uh, Suicidal go back, you know, back in the early yeah, '80s. Yeah. yeah, I remember seeing Suicidal back in '82. You know, at some of the sh- some show in uh, in in California, and uh, this was before we toured with them. And uh, you know, I've been a fan since. Okay, so was it a dream come to, true to join such a legendary it was, band? It was, uh, it was definitely uh, a band that I would have always liked to work with. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. always one of those things. Like, yeah, I, I'd love to work with Suicidal because yeah. uh, you know Suicidal has a, a style. You know, yeah. Mike Muir's songwriting is very uh, unique and yeah. and and very uh, uh, it has a signature style and sound. And you know he brings in that crossover uh, uh, style of music, and uh, you know I I enjoy playing not only metal, you know thrash, but uh, I like funk and I like you know a lot of different grooves. So working with Suicidal is definitely uh, it, it is definitely a dream come true. It's good. So uh, speaking about different genres, you also have a project called Dead Cross, which is going to release the debut album in August. Yes. So how did you actually get involved at the first place with this band? And now you also have Mike Patton from Fate No More singing yeah. it. So it's been kind of like a fast process overall, the band so yeah. far. Well, uh, the band formed in uh, November, December of 2015. And uh, we wrote the music. Now, this was just... uh, We had a singer prior to Mike Patton, and uh, he didn't want to continue working on the record. Uh, He had other responsibilities. And uh, and so we had written, like, you know, nine songs, and we did one cover of Bauhaus, uh, Bella Lugosi is Dead. And uh, so we had all this music written, and... uh, Gabe Serbian didn't want to do the record, you know, after maybe six songs. He had worked on like six songs and recorded them. And then uh, he uh, he said he didn't want to do it. Um, so what I did is I text Mike uh, Patton and uh, I just said, hey, man, you know, this opportunity came up. Would you like to 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 participate? And, you know, would you like to do the record with us? 
and uh, you know on when you're texting somebody you see that they're writing yeah, yeah, you yeah, know so it like he was super nervous that I was like I was going to react yeah i you know i thought that he wasn't interested he wouldn't be interested or maybe he was too busy yeah, you yeah. know because he is working with faith more and yeah. is he's always got something going um but then you know he started typing and then he stopped started typing <laughs> and then stopped and then it came back he said i would love to and i'm like yes <laughs> i couldn't the, believe it the most yeah. nervous moments yeah, of your yeah, life just waiting on what he's gonna reply yeah, is he gonna reply you know <laughs> i expected him maybe to say no which i was yeah. fine because i understand um But yeah, he said yes, and uh, and it's definitely. Uh, um, I love the album, and he is uh, he's very happy, and we're doing some shows in in the U.S. and you know we'll see how it goes, you know, okay. and maybe we'll bring it to Europe. So uh, the sound, obviously, on the album, at least from the songs that has been released so far, is kind of like an old school hardcore punk kind of stuff. Yeah, and obviously you have been involved with thrash metal and now with suicidal so quite a lot of different genres mm-hmm. so do you actually have the feel that you kind of need to play play in all these different kind of genres to feel complete as a musician i i personally feel i do um i am i love music in general yeah. i love all styles of music and whatever style of music uh you know i'm asked to perform in or record you know i always try to do a little of, of adapting yeah, you yeah. know and try to make sure that uh that i don't overplay that i give the music what it needs yeah, you yeah, know yeah. some drummers they just play too much you know and they just don't understand what it is to to contribute to the body of work to the yeah, body yeah. of music and what it needs so you, you know? don't make basically don't want to make it sound like a Dave Lombardo album that instead of no. that you just want it to sound like the band should sound. Yes, you have to contribute uh, the right amount of of input, you know, of your of your style, you know. And if you give too much, you know, I feel that sometimes the the value, you know, it decreases. But if you just give it that perfect amount yeah, yeah, you know then it's like it's it's good it's gold you know yeah yeah so yeah it's you have to be careful and not to overplay yeah yeah, yeah. so the album has kind of like that old school vibe so was that already the intention in the beginning that yes. you want it to sound old school and not too mm-hmm. polished yeah because uh that's my biggest complaint uh when i uh when i listen to music today you know i i listen I'm not hearing the band. What I'm listening yeah, yeah. to is the producer and the engineer and all the edits yeah, to yeah, make yeah. the drum tracks sound okay. like a drum machine and yeah, perfect. Yeah. And for me, unless you're an industrial band, yeah, yeah. that's okay if you're an industrial band. But if you're a thrash metal band or or even a rock band, I think sometimes you need to it needs to be a little loose. It yeah, needs yeah, to yeah. be it needs to have the human feel. And when we recorded this, there was no click metronome. Yeah. I didn't follow a metronome. Uh, I just, I just went for it, you know, punk style. Yeah, yeah. You know, you pretend that you only have, even though we had the studio for for a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you go into the studio thinking I only have two hours to record, so you make sure that you get it down and you get it down perfect. You know, and you make sure that you rehearse with the band before you go into the studio so that way the engineer or the producer doesn't mess with your drum sound you know and so um it was intentionally created yeah, to yes. be a pure punk thrash album yeah yeah and i guess also another goal is that it it's gonna sound pretty same live than on oh, the yeah. exact album act like itself yes yeah yeah Yeah, of course. You know, every venue is different. Yeah, every yeah, soundboard's yeah, different. There's always yeah, yeah. little things, but for the most part, the performance is going to be the same. Uh, the same. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I read somewhere that Mike said about like suicidal in general that he is thinking like whether you are going to release new music or not. But then I also read like few days ago that you have an EP coming out. Yeah, so yeah. is that EP actually going to be like totally new material or some like? Cut out from the previous album session, or uh, what's actually that material? 
I, yeah, it's hard for me to say. I believe, I believe it's new material. Okay. I believe it is. I, I recorded it already. It's all done. But I'm not too sure where it came from in, in the history of suicidal. Yeah, 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 yeah obviously, obviously. You know, it could have been recorded before, and now he wanted to re-record it, or it's all new material. I think it's new. Okay. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay. So, in, in general, what does like the future hold for you as a musician? Obviously, you have been part also with the Misfits reunion yeah. and now with Dead Cross and now you have also suicidal. suicidal so is suicidal kind of like your main priority at the moment and the rest comes if you have time um, or how does it well I have wh- a, how does it work for you in the future I have a very good manager that uh, and my assistant they you know they work my schedule yeah, very yeah. well and you know I give all my projects 100% and there is no priority over the other okay. you know uh, suicidal is busy you know and yeah. uh, so Mike he he wants to do some shows and, and I'm happy that he's willing to do shows so uh, I'm going to do my best to uh, work with with suicidal as well as Dead Cross and also you know Misfits okay so yeah. it's it's gonna be busy yeah, times yeah, ahead yeah. of you yeah Yeah, I'm living out of my suitcase a lot, <laughs> but it's good. I, I'm very happy. I'm happy to be on the big stages. I love playing. I've been playing ever since I was a, a child. This is my life. This is what I do. I don't. I don't see myself sitting on a couch at home. Yeah. I will never retire. You know, I never want to stop playing. Yeah. You know, as long as everything's working. Um, I'm going to be playing for the people, so yeah, yeah. which is where I belong is on stage. So hey, Dave, thank you a lot for taking time to You're do welcome. this interview with us, and best of luck for the future. Anything you want to say as last words to the Finnish fans watching oh, this afterwards? So happy to be here in Finland. Uh, I love coming over here and, and walking around the city. It's just it's just so nice, and uh, the fans are are very very nice people and and very respectful and very cool and. Um, And uh, maybe I, I hope I get to see my friends in Apocalyptica. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, I did some records with yeah, them yeah, many yeah. years ago. So I saw them in in Spain, but I hope to see them here. Okay. You know? okay. But I, I think I'm leaving before they play. I think they're playing Sunday. I think yeah, I'm not too sure. Yeah, probably the last day. Yeah, if I yeah. remember correct. So we'll see. So hey, thank you a lot. Thank you.